Condition Monitoring of Power Transformer, a Practical Approach Abstract power transformer is important and expensive component in the electric power system. At electricity utilities still maintenance approach is time and age based only. This paper describes how various observed, measured, testing conditions used for calculation of health indices to support reference for asset management programs to management and asset cares. Power transformers are important assets in electrical network, considering cost and reliability. The conditions of these assets have to be known, in order to avoid any possible outages and to choose the appropriate maintenance operation that could be done. The health index of a power transformer is one single overall indicator that represents its condition and is derived by a weighting process of all available indicators. This paper presents a case study on several power transformers having different capacity and discussing the benefits of using health index and failure probability as overall diagnostic tools. Moreover, a remaining lifetime calculation based on the transformer failure probability is defined. Keywords Condition Monitoring, Aging Rate, Health Index, Probability of Failure, POF, End of Life, EOL. I Introduction Indian Power Grid is one of the major power networks across the world. After independence there was large investment and development in power sector. Many assets are very old and at the end of life considering their original design. Still many assets are providing functional duties without any major problem. The transformer is a static device so the efficiency will be more. The natural failure rate is less therefore replacement rate is also very slow. This is another reason for use of asset for longer lifespan. From last decade regularity bodies and asset management policies emphasized on to reduce asset maintenance cost, simultaneously improve reliability and efficiency. In this situation understand the present condition and future performance of assets is important. Time frame of assets to be replaced and which are the different consequences, financial as well as operational, are the paramount questions. But after 2014 all over the world asset management standard ISO 55001-2014 provides the guidelines to power utilities. Asset owners are already focusing on asset optimum use, efficiency, operational parameters, maintenance strategy etc. But asset management emphasizes scientific and systematic approach to take care of assets. In any high voltage substation transformer cost will be 60% that of total substation cost for. During normal operation of transformer it will experiences various stresses like, thermal, chemical, environmental, operational etc. 5. Consequently transformer age approaches to end of life and probability of failure increases. Additionally regular overloading and short circuit incidents on aged transformers may lead to unexpected premature failures, resulting in damage to customer relationships due to interruption of power supply. The major consequences of failure of power transformer are The existing process of asset condition monitoring techniques involves monitoring dissolved gas analysis, oil screening test, FFA of oil, various testing results such as thermal image, partial discharge, sweep frequency response analysis, dielectric frequency response analysis etc. 46. Each individual parameter data stated above have a different effect on the transformer. This effect does not have a linear effect on transformer age. It may be exponential. So this evaluation method for deciding present health status of the transformer is not enough. Conventional methods are not compatible to calculate health condition of transformer combining all available inputs. This limitation has been overcome and expressed in this paper to calculate the condition assessment of power transformers using health index, high, technique. DNO common network asset indices methodology is adopted for calculation of health index in this paper. Weighting factor is defined for each input parameter considering the physical, environmental, operational, location conditions of transformers used for high calculation in this paper. Health index, high, is a way of combining complex condition information to give a single numerical value as a comparative indication of overall condition. This health index calculation technique gives a health score. 
of existing transformers along with probability of failure, POF, and end of life, EOL, data. 2. Developing health index. With the available theoretical available data ideal health score is calculated. In actual practice the transformer duty and location factors affects the expected life. Normal theoretical life and expected life are important for calculation of aging rate as age is depends on functional and operational parameters. Initial health score is function of aging rate and defined health score for new asset i.e. 0.5 as per methodology adopted. Additional information such as measured and observed conditions are collected for final calculation of health index. These conditions are needed to be fixed by weighting method, generally called as calibration. This approach to development of health indices summarized in the schematic diagram below 3. Fig.1 flow chart for high. A health scores. Health score of each asset defined here is represented in a numeric presentation. The health score is calculated from combining complex input data such as transformer age, duty, environmental, functional, and operational parameters. The concept is illustrated in schematically in figure. G current health score. Having calculated an initial heat score for all assets, we can now consider the available condition information in order to improve on, or override, the initial health score value. In order to calculate the current health score, the initial health score is multiplied by a health score modifier. The health score modifier is derived from a number of health score factors which are derived from condition information. For each condition measure, a minimum and maximum health score is also calculated, with the final health score being within these minimum and maximum boundaries. J Future Health Score The aging rate is first recalculated for calculation of future health score. The initial health score was calculated using an initial aging rate based on the asset expected life, duty, and location. The current health score also takes into account the condition information and, as such, recalculating the aging rate using the asset age and the current health score gives a more accurate indication of the expected future aging of an asset. 7. Conclusion In this health score model we have formulated current health score, future health score, after two years, current and future POF and end of life, EOL, for each asset. Now it is easy to take action on assets considering their health score banding. The spreadsheet is so designed that inputs can be changed as per change in observation status. The calculations are done automatically and results are available immediately. Also a number of asset additions are possible with this tool. This model will help as a reference to change maintenance strategy or replacement of any component slash total asset from the network.